What's up, everyone? Thanks for tuning in. Back to You for Life. I got B Fresh with me. What's up, y'all? What's up? And I got a special guest. Shout out to LaDante Henton, man. What's up, man? What's good, baby? How you doing? I'm good, man. Welcome home, man. It's been a minute. Thanks for having me. No problem, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Like where you came, where you grew up from. Yeah, I'm from Churchill Downs. I uh, grew up on Stillwell. That's okay. where I came from, man. That's South side of Lansing. South side. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about your life. Like, how many siblings did you have? Uh, oh, okay. How many youngest of five? Oh, the youngest? Yeah, the youngest of five. So it was a little hard. Two older you. brothers, two older sisters. So it was like, you always get picked on or you was like... Nah, nah, nah. They made sure I was good, you okay, know, since okay. I was the youngest. Okay. So that, that kind of helped me steer, steer the right, right way with my two older brothers, you feel me? Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Did they all play basketball? Um, they played basketball in like high school and things like that. They didn't take it to the levels I took it to, but they were, they were on me hard and made sure I was playing the game the right way. Okay, I was going to ask a question, why basketball? So like, they played it... In high school, yeah, so you just, just looked up to them. Looked like up to them, and I was playing with the older cats at a young age. I was okay. playing up with them in the in the neighborhood. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Okay. Having uh, two older brothers, did it make you more competitive? Yeah, yeah. Like everything through the, throughout the house was competitive. Like I'm just a competitive person, but they made me that way because they were they were they was that way also. You know what I mean? And I just wanted to be just like them and be better. What was the age difference? Uh, the, the closest one is uh, four years older than me, okay. and then the next one is seven. Oh yeah, so when y'all competing, you're gonna have a little bit of advantage over you. Yeah, so for sure. Go hard. But but I, you know what I'm saying? I, I grew up quickly. Yeah. Was was more advanced at a young age, so I was still giving them work at a young age. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Well, I remember when uh, you went to Eastern High School. That's the high school you went to. Um, you had. Like the number one rivalry, rivalry was sex in high school. So like every time you guys played against them, it was like sold out. Like the field house was yeah. extremely packed. Uh, how was that? How was that? Let's yeah, let's run by that. Like I think that was good. That it was good there. for the city. Okay. Uh, I don't think high school basketball is like that anymore. I mean, we had like three, four Division One guys on my team, Sexton, had Denzel, and a few NBA players and Division One guys on their team. So whenever we played against each other, we wanted to kill them cats on the court, you know okay. what I mean? But it was a, a good rivalry. Those were my guys off the court, but on the court, it was it was all competitive. The crowd was crazy. It was yeah. fun games to be in. Yeah, it was man, great I, to be I, a part of. I remember that because there was, there was moments where like you would run down the court and bang out and the crowd would go crazy and then he would do the same thing and then it just made you want to even go harder yeah. and you just pushed everyone and everybody seen that and right. like a team player yeah. you did you did your part man that's yeah. what's up um name some of the challenges you had to face going through um i mean i grew up in a uh, as y'all know is a tough neighborhood i didn't have much growing up so i mean i was blessed enough to have older siblings to keep me out the streets you know so they, that really will help guide me throughout the streets and, and and not mess up, do the right things in school. And I knew it was, that was my ticket out, basketball. So I tried to just stay on the right path and do whatever it takes to get out of the hood. And I was blessed enough to be to, to make it, take my game to the next level. So. How did the transition from high school to college, how was that like? I mean, it was a big difference, you know, playing with uh, a high level guys going over there straight from high school, didn't know nobody oh, over there on the East Coast. But I mean, we made it work and I grinded my way and gra ended up graduating, getting That's my so degree. I uh, played at a high level. I mean, I'm, I'm blessed to have the opportunity to play Division One basketball in the Big East. And um, I think I made the most out of it. What's up, man? Congrats. Appreciate it. No problem. You talk a little bit about, you know, growing up in Churchill and that being like a bit of a challenge. Yeah. Um. Do you see like things that helped you accomplish things better because of that challenge? Uh, yeah, I'm a strong believer in everything happened for a reason. Um, I think the things that I've been through in life and the, uh, the tribulations I had in life helped make me the man I am today. And I don't think if, if I probably didn't go through much growing up, I don't think I'd be where I am today. So, I mean, growing up in a tough neighborhood, going through trials and tribulations, um, it really helped me become the man I am today. So. I'm thankful, thankful for it. Do you see how it translates to the court? 
I mean, yeah, the way I play, I mean, I put my heart on the floor. I play hard, play tough, play rugged. I mean, that's that's the neighborhood I grew up in. That's the way I always play with the older guys in my neighborhood. And I think it translated to the college's level and now the pro level. Cool. Okay, man. Um, let's get into like uh, who's like one of your number one supporters, bro? Like who supported you to the fullest? Like it was like go, go. Like, you um, got this, go. It's my my family. Okay. My family is my number one supporters. You know, they 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 sticking it out with you through thick and thin. You know what I mean? So probably my mom, my dad, my brothers and sisters. It was there for me, pushing me, making sure I do the, did the right things to take my game to the next level. So, okay, let's get into uh, uh, what kind of cars do you like, man? Uh, do you like foreign cars or American cars? Um, I mean, everybody want to pull up in the foreign. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but foreign cars, yeah, I mean, those is solidify you at where you at in stature in life. Okay. You know what I mean? Everybody want a foreign car, yeah. but. I mean, those those are the things that you, you work hard for, so you can live nice. that type of lifestyle. So, of course, like BMW, seven series BMWs, that's what, Audis. That's so, what you get. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, for sure. BMW. So that's the, that's yeah. coming soon, but nice. just gotta keep grinding, man. That's what's up, man? Yeah. Okay, let's let's uh, get on to like uh, a celebrity crush. Like, mm. who 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 are you crushing on, bro? I think Rihanna. Oh, oh man. I like Rihanna. Rihanna, you want Rihanna? I like Rihanna. I think you can do it, man. Yeah, Shout out to Rihanna. Yeah, she got it. I like the way she dances. Okay. The way she moves, she go. Yeah, Rihanna, if you're watching this, man, hit this DM. You feel me? <laughs> All right, man. Let's uh, let's not waste any more of your time. But um, you got anything to say to the younger kids coming up that look up to you? Um, that you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just keep grinding, keep believing in yourself. Don't let t nobody tell you you can't do anything, and um, just never stop going after your dreams and your goals. And everything is a fall in place. You know, school first, make sure school f first, fun and second. You know what I mean? And just keep having fun with basketball and live out your dream. All right, so uh, you know, when you get ready for a game, you get ready to go out on the court. Uh, what type of music do you listen to? Like, what, what type of playlist you got? Um, I'm a I'm a big fan of Meek Mill, you know, Free Meek. Um, I listen to a lot of Meek Mill for sure. Um, J Cole, listen to a lot of J Cole. Any uh any Michigan artists like my guy D Jones? You know, I listen to him. You feel me? Dope, dope. Yeah, we keep in touch for sure. I shout like out. his music for shout sure. Shout out to Diamond Jones in the building, man. For sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, that's about it. You know, the music, man. So I had to ask about the music. And my guy, Ready Rock. Where's he from? East side of Lansing. Okay. You gotta listen to him too for sure. That's his favorite NBA player. Yeah, who's your favorite NBA player? I mean, I grew up a, a Carmelo <laughs> <laughs> back. I grew up a Carmelo fan. I always liked Melo since he was in college and high school. And idols become your rivals now. <laughs> Go at him, you feel me? For sure. Can't wait to see that dunk. You know? <laughs> 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 